She is a woman who is here to take control. The following is a triple threat match. Making her way to the ring, representing Damage Control from San Jose, California, Bailey. Ding dong, hello. She has crashed the party and taken the women's division by force. And Bailey now has more muscle by her side than ever. Bailey claims that the locker room needs to learn that the world does not revolve around them. Because it's the role model's world and we're just living in it. Do we have to? We'll see if she'll rely on her skill or shortcuts tonight. Ooh, Cole, you are going to get such a scolding tonight. Ronda Rousey is here. Clear the way, folks. Here comes the baddest. And her opponents, first, from Venice Beach, California, the baddest woman on the planet, Ronda Rousey. She won the Women's Royal Rumble the night she returned to WWE and is once again dominant. Ronda Rousey's got her game face locked. She is ready to compete. Enchanting, bewitching, Magnetic. Here she comes. The sinister Scarlet. And from Sin City, Scarlet! There is a chill in the air whenever Scarlet enters a room. The coldness defines her as a superstar. Already playing serious mind games with the women's <laughs> roster. Wicked, dangerous intentions on the mind of Scarlet. Three competitors at odds with each other now look to settle things in this triple threat match. In this one, it'll be Bailey. Ronda Rousey and Scarlett. Always a feeling out process in the early goings of the triple threat. You want to gauge your distance. You want to know just how much real estate you can have to yourself. You don't want to be the first one targeted because things can snowball against you quickly. That's unnecessary. All's fair in love and war, gentlemen. I saw nothing but effective offense. And that definitely made solid impact. Disgusting behavior. There was no respect shown there. 
Corey, the tide of a triple threat match can change at any moment. How would you suggest a competitor keep from being overwhelmed when that happens? I don't even know if that's completely possible, Cole. However, one should take advantage of the inherent no disqualification, no count out aspect of a triple threat match. Some might call it taking a shortcut, but if it's legal, I don't see why you'd avoid doing it. Targeted the lower body there, and it was highly effective. Suplexes, slams, and bombs are all painful, but being slapped like that is humiliating. You would know, Saxton. Uncorked a big punch. With no count outs, there's nothing keeping her inside the ring. She's produced a sledgehammer. She is aiming to cause serious bodily harm. Yeah, Bailey's asserting some dominance now. Bailey's calling the shots out here. An injured shoulder puts you below square one. This is a smart strategy here. Toughness being put to the test. She's going under the ring now. She's got a chair. I don't think I'll be able to watch what's to come. Toss back into the ring. And Bailey connected nicely there. She wants to take this one outside the ring, it seems. She's taking this outside. This one cannot be lost by count out. She slips inside. What has she got in mind? Oh, right, right. I don't know what they're looking for here. Oh, what a strike to the back. Kendo stick impact. Oh! Ripping their opponent down. Placing them into position, and look at this agonizing situation. I'm going to be careful not to get disqualified. She throws her back in. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? No count out as she takes this fight to the floor. A collision like that could mark a turning point for this entire match. I uh, had that well scouted. Whip back into the ring. A little cockiness here from Scarlett. Chuck block. Brilliant. Right to the back of the knee. Superb awareness countering Rousey. Real European uppercut. Kick 
right to the leg. Look at that counter from Bailey. Back suplex, no! Driven down. She is being destroyed in there. Yeah, she is not looking good right now. Taking it to the floor, what's she gonna do? As a bat now, with the intent to make her opponent's head to baseball. Oh man, they do not care who or what they destroy. Yeah, Byron, you are dangerously close to being collateral damage in this one. What more can any of these women do in this scenario? You have to squeeze every last ounce out of whatever gas you have left in the tank. Throws her back in from ringside. Thrown back in under the ropes. Great awareness as he proves to be too quick. Oh, what a chop. That'll let you up. Oh, takedown. And now punches right. Teen off. <laughs> what a punch. Oh, that backfired on her. Coming back into the ranks. Back to the action. Russian leg sweep. And the cover for the win! Ooh, what a four club. Clean up belly! Denied with an elbow. Scarlett's in serious. Take down by Rousey. Looking for the arm bar. And you know what's coming. Off the takedown. Rousey into the arm bar. And no countouts means she has the whole outside to play with. Oh, man. And a headbutt of questionable legality. She's taking things to ringside. But things are really heating up here. And Rousey gets put into a bad spot there. Scarlett knows she's going to have to empty the tank to put this one away. This is likely going to have adverse effects on her. She's only aggravating her competition at this point. And this one might be headed ringside. Countered it just in time. Uh-oh. One step ahead with the takedown. Big four. Got a disturbing impact. She's got that sledgehammer and making her opponent aware of it. Just bashing them with that hammer. Any one of these attacks could cause irreparable damage, but I don't think you can come back from this many. And she slides her back to the mat. Ouch. This place has come unglued. Rightfully so. And that prevents Bailey's attack. She's into the ring again. Pressure. If ever a time for Scarlett to let the genie out of the bottle, it's now. <laughs> Bailey delivering the kick to the gun. Spike with a rose plant. Is that enough to take out Rousey? Up and down. What a slam. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. <laughs> Expected that one. Oh my goodness, just strike it at will. Oh, that was just malicious. Just disrespectful. Settling on the kendo stick, no good can come from this. Just provoking her opponent, daring her to make the first move. Shoulders down, this could be the one that does it for her. performance from all three superstars in this match. She came into this match on a mission, determined to outlast and outwork both of her opponents. In that case, Saxton, I'd say mission accomplished.
might be. It's Chelsea and Piper. Be careful, Brian. They have the general manager on speed dial. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, the team of Piper Niven and Chelsea Green. Green and Niven possess a continuity that borders the unorthodox, but when they focus on the same target, they get the job done. Yeah, they're united by their desire to rule the women's division at any cost and make the entire WWE Universe miserable. When you're talking about the biggest and baddest, Piper and Chelsea aren't part of the conversation. They are the conversation. Trust me, the last thing I want with Chelsea and Piper is a conversation. Oh, <laughs> here comes trouble. But also, here comes one of the top young talents from NXT. And their opponents, first from Tampa, Florida, J.C. Jane. Jane is the multiple-time NXT Women's Tag Champion, co-holder of the longest reign in that title's history. And we are only seeing the start of J.C. Jane's dominance. Jane continually gets in trouble by bad-mouthing the competition. But she isn't shy about backing it up in the ring, Byron. Here comes Indy Hartwell, one of the toughest underdogs in the women's division. Here, Indy began her in ring career at just 19 years old. Or, how about this, Michael? Indy Hartwell made her NXT and main roster debuts by the age of just 23. I had my first match at 16. Where are my flowers? Why does no one talk about me? You guys are biased. And we have action here with the self-proclaimed future WWE Hall of Famers, Chelsea Green and Piper Niven. And frankly, I'm just happy they're not at the commentary table with us tonight. Oh, bite your tongue, Matthew. The duo of Green and Niven has proven to be a wrecking shop here in the women's tag team division. Given the dynamic of the team, Green and Niven are difficult to prepare for. But one thing for sure is they'll have something up their sleeve. But their opponents are tired of hearing about them. Tonight's about stealing a spotlight. It's about establishing a new regime around these parts. You could sense the disdain before the bell even rang. Just disrespectful. And I don't think there was anything necessary about that. Into the corner. This can't be good. Face full of turnbuckle. down. He wasn't tough enough contending with one opponent. Now you got to deal with two. Solely focused on punishing the leg. The legs are a base that you do not want to lose. Chopping down the tree at the base here. That's going to hurt. Gets tagged in. Oh, nothing fancy with that boot. 
Chop block. Brilliant. Right to the back of the knee. Focus that attack at the base. Can't put together much offense with no base. Now that'll do some serious damage. Able to evade. And Chelsea Green's focus being tested there. Outright malicious intent from Indy Harpo there. She's on unsteady legs in the corner. Needs to recover. Absolutely punishing. Can she score the pin? She breaks the count quick. Not yet. Oh, oh look at a torch of their opponent. Uh oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, man. Back. Did you see that? Oh, knee, meet back of neck. Up high, Johnny Cross body! Throwing all cops into the wind. Fell like a boulder out of the sky and absolutely flattened the target. She's starting to look concerned. Yeah, as Piper Niven was channeling that ruthless aggression, just dominating the competition there. Throwing down punches and counters out. Oh, it's right to the side of the face. Larian. Oh, yeah, she is really getting fired up. Oh, this... This may end it right here, right oh, now. No. Canadian Destroyer. Just a flagrant display of aggression to do something like that. Placing them right. Piper Niven getting ready. Nice scoop slam. Does that finish Indy off? Shoulders down. Oh, I thought it was over, but again. Can we please get some control? Looking for a little bit of high risk here, it seems. From the top. Elbow drop. A devastating blow delivered to Hartwell there. Yeah, they've stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Ooh, four. Just using their foot as a weapon. So ruthless. Indy denies the attack. Tagged with a punch. Short clothesline hits its mark. Oh, and she turns it around. She's pushed into the corner. Saw that one coming. With a small on their back. There's a tag. What are we gonna see here? Double team effort. And a double shoulder block. Down to Odin. And a double axe handle smash. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. You can't take much more of this. She is barely standing at this point. Textbook fireman's carry takeover. A disrespectful shove there. Take it off their feet. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. Herself. 
And surely she hears how high the referee's count has gotten at this point. Well, if she does, maybe she just doesn't care. Placed in the corner. Kick to the gut. Set up. Flipping pile driver. Spiked. Knife edge shot. Indy caught off guard. Textbook scoop slam. Chelsea Green got all of that. Shoulders down. Competitors digging into wells that didn't even know existed. Target in the arm now. And this deep in, you gotta start wondering how much more is there to give in this match? What an incredible display of human resilience we've seen here. Things taking a turn for her now. And Indy Hartwell channeling that killer instinct of hers. is locked in. Well, was locked in. Trying to open the hands and a shot to the back of the neck. She said flying into the corner. Oh! And a live crowd doesn't get any hotter than this. On the edge of their seats and then some. He's going to try it again. Scoop slam. Can that keep JC down? Cover. And she fights it off. Where is she finding the strength? This is unreal. for wear in the corner now. He decides. Jeez. Look at this going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. JC Jane is just begging for a fight. Is it. The WWE Universe showing the love for these superstars who have given them so much tonight. Run right out of ringside and back to the mat. Tag. Here she comes. DDT. 
There are no words for the ride these fans have gone through in this match. It has been a roller coaster, and I don't think the ups and downs are over yet. She's fighting back. And she's stunned in the corner. Here's a tag. Double team. A hip toss. And a kick to boot. Oof. Insult to injury. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Uh oh. Oh, saw it coming and got an elbow for their trouble. Back elbow smash. Nothing fancy. She's losing some steam now. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? From behind, chop block. Oh, man. She's going for it. And she works the pin attempt in one. Wow, I thought this was over. Jeez. Elbow drop. Piercing. Into the corner now. She steers clear of that one. Boy, you're a pin uppercut. Attacks from the arsenal of Hartwell. And Niven has to pull a trick from her sleeve. So much damage inflicted. So she tags in. Ah, oh, what a neck breaker. Oh, one oh. into the cover. Oh. And the count stops short of two. The muscle memory's got to be taken up. Lights out here. Oh, no, maybe not. she have to do to put her away? I'm asking myself the same question. I have no idea. Might take her head clean off her shoulders. Dribbling the opponent. Shoulders down. Could she finally put this away? No, she kicks out. Getting that shoulder up now is huge. Bionic elbow driven down. Just bouncing that head like a basketball. She says, no thanks. Bam! Ooh. 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 Ooh, that might have just broken something. Oh, a hip broke in the gut. And Jane really looks battered after that attack. Yeah, things appearing quite grim for JC here. And just planting them with that DDT there. She sent back in under the ropes. Count out imminent. She needs to get back in. Great counter. Impressive ring IQ on display there. Implanted by the DDT. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. There's the tag. Clothesline. Oh! Ah, oh, seated bionic elbow. Oh! What are we gonna see here? So powerful. We got their eyes locked on their opponent. Oh, right to the neck. Indy is ending this fight right there. 
Oh, man, by the hair. Hair whip. Golly, that sounded rough. under the ropes to get back inside. Oh, man, by the hair. Hair whip. Battling at ringside can be very unforgiving. You have to be careful out there. No protection out here. No safe confines to speak of. Yeah, we can't overlook how devastating that DDT was. Averting danger with an elbow to the stomach. Everyone get out of the way. These two are abandoning all the strengths. The ref may call a count out soon, guys. You do not want to test this ref. Throws her back in from ringside. That'll stop the count, and this match will continue. I'm glad that wasn't the end of things. Oh, reverse DDT. Here's her tag. Scoops their opponent up. Uh oh. Look out. Spiked with a Michinoku driver. An unconventional attack from her opponent's playbook. The referee clearly noticed she was on the ropes. Viper could be moments away from being beaten. Able to elude it. Oh, man, by the hair. And whip. In off the tag. Uh-oh. And the cover for the win. It, oh, wait a minute. Turns the leverage for a pin of their own. Can't prepare your face for that. Play impossible. Whoa. Play impossible. Breaks the close count. You are not alone in your shock, Cole. We all thought that was it. Slam. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. And Jane pushing through to maintain her offense. And we're getting to a point where JC has to find a way to end this fight. Pinpoint aim right to the arm. And she'll make the tag. Ooh. Oh, an apron slap. Disrespectful. Here we go. And for the DDT. Spiked. Brutal face buster. Driven down face first. Elbow drop. Piercing. in off the tag. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Sit in, sit out, power bomb. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Oh, God, that hurt. Oh, my God, in the spine. That'll make your legs go numb. And all eyes are on Chelsea now. Tag made. Tag made. <laughs> Mistake made by Jane. <laughs> oh, this, this may end it right here, right oh, now. Oh, Canadian destroyer. That's got to be it. Two. Kick out. She still has life. 
That is just pure instinct at this point. Uh-oh. Quick thinking from JC. Set up in the corner. Here comes another one. Taken down with a body slam. This one has to be over. Pin. Ah, celebration underway. Great win tonight. Really needed that one as well. Well, it was a great, but well, we got another superstar. So, uh, I guess adding to the celebration, appreciation. I sense a hint of sarcasm in the celebration. Yeah, you're probably right. A man who calls himself the now, Austin Theory. The following is a fatal four-way match. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin so many titles and major wins to this young man's name. It looks like Theory brought all of his friends in the ring with him tonight. Oh, watch your mouth, Cole. You are looking at the youngest United States champion and Mr. Money in the bank ever. How did that cash in go? Well, that... I can't... Well, I, I don't have that information readily available. Usually the guys at 2K are great about giving me the stats. I, I, I'll get back to you. The Celtic warrior always ready for a fight. And his opponents, first representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic warrior, Sheamus. The Celtic warrior has accomplished just about everything there is to accomplish in WWE. Sheamus is always around for a fight. The success, hey, that's just a byproduct.
Here comes Montel Vontavious Porter, otherwise known as MVP. Those are more than just initial Saxton. He's been a main event talent for decades. And from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 259 pounds, Montel Vontavious Porter. MVP, one of the sharpest minds this business has ever seen. The MVP possesses unmatched mental acuity. He knows this business like few men do. Get ready for a master class in tactics. Well, it is always interesting to see MVP's plan take shape. Here comes the next big thing in WWE. Yeah, according to Grayson Waller. And from Sydney, Australia, weighing in at 206 pounds, Grayson Waller. An impressive athlete with tons of natural talent. I'm sure Waller asked you to say that. Uh, yeah, but he didn't need to. I would have said it anyway. Soon we'll all be feeling the Grayson Waller effect and loving it. Uh, speak for yourself. Fatal Four Way is a tough match on its own, but tonight we'll have some of WWE's top flight talent getting this competition underway as we see. All uh oh, you can see that he and rolls him off. What a forearm! Going right after the neck, neckbreaker. They're just punishing their opponent now. Nasty knee with a series of forearms. Waist lock applied, but able to block into an arm drag. Right into a spine buster. Oh, getting smacked in the head with a chair. Jumped into the ropes and attacking the lower back. Oh, man, inverted backbreaker. Ow. Left by the turnbuckles. Sheamus dodges that one. And a superstar has the odds against them entering a fatal four-way. What's the best way to overcome those odds, Corey? Well, there's a few options, Corey. You can lay and wait for a moment to capitalize, or you can power through and take everyone on head first. The most important part is breaking up any pinfalls or submissions. Swinging side effect. And into the count. But now here's Waller. Oh, and back of the elbow. A big kick to the gut and a thunderous forearm. This is just too far. Get some control in there. And it looks like they have no problem bending the rules there. Just how desperate do you have to be? Why not a fair fight, huh? Well, that's not right. Somebody do something about that. And it's Sheamus who had to take some punishment that time. From behind. Oh, Kendo stick right to the head. Take down into the Achilles. 
simulation starting to show its effects here. Jaw shattering boot. Boom, what an uppercut. Jordan turning the tables. Oh, beautiful teamwork. In a match like this, sometimes the smartest strategy is to find an ally. It can also be the most dangerous if you don't watch your back. He gets tossed back into the mat, clearly hoping something nefarious is beneath the ring. Funky butt love it. He's got a baseball bat. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Simple waist lock and countered into an arm drag. Followed by the steps. That'll make you reassess some things. ST. To the outside. 
outside. This could get wild. No, oh, he goes low. You're not cheating, you're not trying. Oh, a sledgehammer to the midsection will knock the wind out of you. Oh, no. Driving down with the sledgehammer. Bang! These are the kind of attacks that completely throw off your equilibrium. A bit of provocation from Lowell. What a pump kick. In theory, he's been at the brink a few times, but still fights on. Grayson could be in peril. No, no! That hurt me. Big boot! Jeez. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing, and it could cost him. Oh, look at the knees. Courageously fighting through and closing the gap on the opposition. Nice side headlock applied. Oh, a good measure. Stiff elbow will break that. Kick to the gut. I have a theory what's coming next. Grayson just needs a moment. Oh, super kick! Look at this, just unloading! Does he have it here? And he fights it off. Thought he had it. You gotta be kidding me. And Sheamus. Oh, he's going for that high cross. What? Tosses him back in now. 
Close line. Good lord. So effective. Rolling thunder. Face first. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extended elbow. Got the leg. Dropping the elbow right on the knee. the legs into a patella brainbuster battling ringside and our announce table getting shaky that's because byron is quivering in fear next to me well, i get nervous when the fight comes out here guys Clearly wants a fight here. Overhand connects. And they pay with the play of the day. Well, that goes well around. Boom kick. No doubt. Sheamus ended this. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Impact. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. Uncorked a clothesline to deny that maneuver. Nice hip toss. to the gut. Hooked up. DDT! This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. This could do it! And there's the breakup. Just in the nick of time. Play from MVP with a last second kick out. That was plan A, and it didn't work. He must be thinking about plan B at this point. Punch right in the head.
MVP's words are just as damaging as his actions. The Irish Brawler's got him where he wants him. With white noise. Brawl kick by Sheamus. Well, that proved to be enough this time. Like clockwork, that eagle of theory on full display here. Wasting absolutely no respect on his opponent. You gotta love it. Ripcord, Larry! 
Grayson Waller. Grayson Waller with a rolling thunder stunner. Will Waller make it pay off? Two. And meanwhile, Sheamus. Boom. gave everything they had. But there can only be one winner in the end, and you are looking at them. Don't blink or you'll miss Nathan Frazier. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Jersey in the Channel Islands, weighing in at 182 pounds, Nathan Frazier. One of the best young high flyers in all of WWE. Yeah, but Frazier's also shown his grappling skills in winning the NXT Heritage Cup. A truly well-rounded athlete. Taking control of his own destiny. This is the newly focused, and some have said revitalized, Baron Corbin. A man who believes he's returned to his roots, who's gone back to basics. Corbin's come out here looking for a fight, and you can believe that's what we're about to get. And his opponent from Kansas City, weighing in at 285 pounds, Baron Once again, Corbin has redefined himself. Free of nicknames and fancy outfits, here's to separating the men from the boys. You have to respect it. He's at the top of his game right now. Accomplished so much in his young career. Won the Money in the Bank ladder match. Former Golden Gloves boxing champion, NFL offensive lineman, turned champion in WWE. Keep your eyes on the sky because you've got Nathan Frazier in the ring here. 
Yeah, no kidding, Michael. Frazier is one of those opponents who is as dangerous in the air as he is on the mat. There's really no telling what the high-risk, high-reward Frazier is going to pull out in this match. That aerial threat is certainly something that you have to be aware of when taking on Nathan Frazier. He's squaring off against Baron Corbin, who really has a renewed sense of focus as of late. This might just be the most dangerous version of Corbin we've ever seen. Corbin's rediscovered that thing that made him such a fierce competitor in the first place, that lone wolf mentality. No more distractions, no more bells and whistles. Oh, look at this here, guys. Look at this. Back suplex into a powerbomb. My goodness. That powerbomb was absolutely worthy of both halves of its name. Big oh. powerbomb. The power on display right now is ridiculous. rotation creates so much more force than a standard splash. Vicious right forearm. And we know Nathan Frazier is all heart, but not exactly the biggest competitor. Corey, you think his size is going to play a factor in this one? Potentially put an even bigger target on him? Well, it's not like we haven't seen smaller superstars scale the peaks of WWE, Cole, but a smart opponent can always find a way to use something like this against you. Emphasis on smart. Ooh, stiff punch. This is quickly turning into a slugfest. Two Titans trading strikes and refusing to back down. Slugging away with everything they've got. Oh, ouch. Oof. Each exchange just sapping the energy from these two. Ooh. They are emptying their tanks, going back and forth like this. Frazier may be thinking high risk. We're going to finish it off. Oh, and he doesn't connect. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. This one is headed outside, guys. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Deep six from the lone wolf. You can feel the contempt as Corbin delivered that move. <laughs> this is Corbin doling out karma for everyone who turned their backs on him. Gentlemen, in the interest of self-preservation, I may have to excuse myself. Saxton, you hang tight. Let this play out. And a series of vicious stomps. And if the first stomp doesn't send you the message, the follow-up ones definitely will. Insulting. But this could also light a fire under you. Make you fight even harder. And he slides him back to the mat. Corbin's got him right where he wants him. And Frazier able to reverse that. Springboard corkscrew crossbody. Strong impact. Oh, he's got him by the leg. Oh, that hurt. He's looking a little weary now. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. Agility like that, easier said than done, gentlemen. Close call, but not enough yet. Wow, breathtaking standing shooting star. And Frazier with momentum on his side. Yeah, Frazier's proving hard to keep up with. Oh, what a clubbing blow. Down to Owen, and a double axe handle smash. Oh, foot just stomping down. Axe handle finds its target. Carefully placed stomp to the arm.
Round and round into the satellite DDT. The superstar using the rope as a weapon. This is uncalled for. Come on! Corbin is feeding off the WWE Universe. What's coming next? Back suplex. Very nice. Going way up high. Looks like he has his finger on the trigger now. From way up the top, oh, down. The life left in Nathan might be out. Thanks for coming. End of days. Fraser becoming a bloody mess in there. There's two. Ah, uh, the competitor now exhausted after that match. Wait a minute, what's he doing here? What's the meaning of this? Trash talking. Oh, agitation from the top of the ramp. Apparently we've got a new robbery on our hands. Uh, referee calls to the bell. We're underway, and the referee goes down just oh, like no. that. It's a hazardous environment for an official. And can the match continue? The ref took a nasty fall. We knew this was going to get out of hand. I didn't realize it was going to happen this quickly. We need to restore some sort of order. Is that an official start? The referee was able to start the match, so we are proceeding with this match. We all know just how much a calculated attack like that could affect the course of this match. Getting a leg up on the competition is the name of the game, Saxton. Work smarter, not harder. Big E has some of the most explosive offense of any big man in WWE history, but the key to that is that he needs to be able to control the offense and, more importantly, control the flow. Big E is capable of both a fast pace and methodical style, but he needs to switch between both on his terms. On the mark. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Kick to the gut. Cranked around into a neck breaker. Whoa, not quite yet. Oh my! Gonna be agonizing for the arm. And Biggie clearly wasn't the aggressor on that exchange. Where the heart splash! Cover! Two! And this one is over. Here is your winner, Carmelo Hayes! I don't see how you can't be disappointed in winning like this. And how can you even celebrate a win as tainted as this one? Tainted? How? Oh, come on. You saw the blatant cheap shot, Corey. All I saw was the drive to win at any cost. 
which they just did, mind you. And to that, I say kudos. I got a feeling this match is going to be too sweet. One of the most dominant and decorated teams in the world. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia. Weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ. We all know the OC loves to have a good time, but the one thing they might love even more is getting into a good old-fashioned fight. <laughs> yeah, they brawled all over the world and sometimes with each other. The OC never sleeps on a good fight. Is this man truly ready for Braun Breaker, a superstar who was bred for success? This dude is one of the most impressive young superstars we've seen. Braun Breaker on a meteoric rise in WWE. And his opponent from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds, Braun Breaker. Absolute power, absolute aggression. This kid's the real deal. I agree, Cole. He's already more than living up to his family pedigree. Just look at Breaker's face. The intensity of this man is palpable. Braun looks ready to completely annihilate the opposition. When you're taking on AJ Styles, the last thing you want to do is let him set the pace. AJ has proven over the years that he has incredible ability to control the tempo of any match. And once he does, he basically has his opponent right where he wants him. Looks like we'll see if AJ's incredible ability pays off for him tonight. And with all that said, we cannot undersell Braun Breaker in this one, guys. This is a superstar who always pushes himself to a whole new limit. So we should be in for something special here. Yeah, I suppose there is something special about dogged intensity, Saxton. Not that you'd know anything about being intense or special. With the reversal! Styles a step ahead. 
Wow, what a leg sweep. Taking out the knee. Oh, man. That'll destroy your ligaments. Ah, crush a hamstring. Just never had a chance to block any of those. Oh, my God, what a forearm. Right to the jaw. Power, strength, speed, agility, athleticism. Breaker really does have all the tools to be at the top of this business. When he puts it all together, Cole, there are few men in this company who can really stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. That's why he's got a great chance to win tonight. Insulting. That's going to fire you up with anger. Oh, moonsault! Man, did you see the height on that? And Braun's having trouble managing this onslaught. Every form of offense Breaker attempts is being neutralized. Arm drag! Ooh. Very nice. <laughs> Effective arm drag. Jarring impact. Climbing to the top rope. Watch out! Diving hammer strike! Up across the shoulders. Ushi Garoshi. It's all AJ right now. Yeah, Styles isn't giving any quarter. Gotta find a way to get out of this. Oh my god, superhuman power. Not the prettiest thing you'll ever see, but it sure looks effective from here. Oh, what a right! Yeah, that's some attitude behind it. Just breaking down the opponent. Suplex. Oh, oh, look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. Here's the cover. And he gets the shoulder up before two. Getting the shoulder up before two tells me the end is not near. Hooked up. It looks like for a belly-to-belly. -belly. Blatant disregard for their opponent. Styles has the momentum against him here. And that's Braun Breaker putting all of his tools to good use. No one can stand up to him when he really gets it all going like this. It wasn't the height or distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. And he saw that coming from Braun. Styles doing what he can do to halter the beatdown. Yeah, his instincts are taking over. Six. And he's taking... Styles, Styles will through. Calf Crusher is a... Are you kidding me? Elbow, what a counter! Two. And he gets delivered back into the ring. He's going for it all. From the top! No, oh, elbow drop! Oh, it's a piercing elbow. And Braun has earned the upper hand here. It Check out this display of power by Braun Breaker way overhead. The military press into the power slam. Breaker might have him. Oh, shoulder up before three. You do not get a moniker like the phenomenal one if you just lay down and go out easily. What perseverance from Styles. And Breaker has to be wondering just what it's going to take to end this. How far does he have to go? Switches it back around. Pops him up. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh my God, he's in position. Styles, clash. Breaker doesn't know where he is. Two count, kicks out, just kicked out. How on earth did he kick out of that? I have no idea. It's because Braun Breaker's not normal, Saxton. And AJ used what has put so many men away in the past, but to no avail. Went for something, but got a stiff elbow in the head to step. He avoids the damage. Big flying forearm. I don't know how these men keep going. They gotta be close to running on empty by now. He's been placed in the corner now. Uh-oh. Nice counter from Breaker. Well-placed elbow to break up the maneuver. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Oh, right to the throat. Ooh. Round we go and into the side 
slam. Nice. Reversal. What a counter. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. Caving in the abdomen. And things looking dire for Styles. Raker has picked his spots all night, and he just did it again. Thunderous slam. Spectacular athleticism. Lifts him up a spine buster. Towards that offense. Spear! Breaker taking things to another level. I didn't think his intensity could go any higher, but I was just proof. Man, that was such a long and hard fought match. He earned that victory. Here is your winner, Braun Breaker. A setback loss for AJ Styles. Let's remember that AJ Styles is no stranger to adversity. This isn't his first setback. Good point. It won't take him long to bounce back from this. Make way for the head of the table. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Bloodline from Pensacola, Florida. Weighing in at 265 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion and the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns! The Tribal Chief has faced opponents from every corner of the earth, and none of them have withstood the challenge. Oh, and at this rate, who's left? Well, it may seem impossible, but a match like tonight is an ultimate opportunity. Then reality sets in. You are facing greatness on a different level. Someone's about to be taught a grappling lesson. A painful one, no doubt. And his opponent from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak. Drew Gulak ready to tie the competition up in knots. You cannot allow Reigns to intimidate you. Yeah, well, that's probably easier said than done. He is in for the fight of his life. Yeah. 
Drew Gulak seems to always have a chip on his shoulder. Always fighting hard like he's got something to prove and everything to lose. It's one of the many things I respect about Gulak, along with the impressive in-ring skill set he's developed over nearly two decades. Yeah, and when Gulak combines all that in-ring knowledge with his tenacious attitude, he's been known to produce some pretty spectacular results. And he's standing across the ring from the tribal chief, Roman Reigns. From the top! He misses the target! Short flight, but a rough landing. Lighten up the chest, and now... Straight to the knee. And now you have to protect that leg from further harm. You can't finish a match on one good leg alone. That kick will stop you in your tracks. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? Big counter from Reigns. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. to the arm. Set up for the Russian oh. leg sweep. Nicely done. Uh-oh. Oh, to the back of the neck. What a lariat. He's got him down. Is this it? In a kick out. Not enough pressure on the pin. Shifts it back onto him. Moves outside. What's the plan here? And a big right hand. There are plenty of ways battling this area could end in serious harm. What a punch. That shot on Gulak did not miss. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Roman Reigns is so good. Reigns putting his opponent to sleep with the guillotine. I'm going to tap out. Got to find a way out of the guillotine. They're not going to last long. Well, I'm going to bridge it out. Incredible. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. for Gulak. Placing them into the corner. Boot to the mush. Effective way to counter any attack. Close line. He's on his heels a bit now. Reigns doing all he can to keep his seat at the... From the top. Diving elbow drop. Are you kidding me? Is it enough? The cover. Two. Digging deep for a kick out. How? How? Turns it around. Kick. Neck breaker. Caught with that sharp elbow. Drew Gulak the Gulak. Drew Gulak with a Gulak to submission locked it. Oh, rolls through. Nice escape. Fire Samoan drop. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Tough spot to be in right now for Drew Gulak. And he has just taken it from the top. for this man enjoying the victory here tonight. And his opponent, obviously a sore loser. Well, Cole, I got a feeling this story is far, far from over. Sign me up for a rematch.
man who has spent a decade atop WWE with the accolades to prove it. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the NXT Champion, Seth Freakin' Rollins! A decade of being WWE's freaking workhorse, and the WWE Universe is finally singing his praises. The visionary hauls so much drip, the water level rises wherever he goes. But here's the thing, that's all a part of his mind games. If the opposition is thinking about Seth's outfit or his dancing, they aren't thinking about the match. The WWE Universe just exploded. The American Nightmare Cody Rhodes looks as ready as ever for action tonight. witnessing his full capabilities. Indeed, Corey, the American nightmare has become a reality. For everything Rhodes has accomplished during his tenures in WWE, he's made his mark across the wrestling world. Every promotion he stepped foot in has been transformed for the better, thanks to the American nightmare. But we all know he's got the best work ahead of him here in WWE. It's really been an interesting journey for Cody Rhodes since returning to WWE. Ever since blazing a path for the American Nightmare, Cody has been doing the best work of his career. Well, as they say, Cole, the prodigal son returns. Cody is the prodigal son, and he has made sure that every single moment in WWE matters. Absolutely, Corey, but you have to believe that a lot of pressure comes with that mantle. We'll see if the pressure gets to Cody here tonight. But then we've got Seth freaking Rollins, a truly superior talent who's at the top of his game. Seth has never been more cunning, more ruthless, more driven inside the ring than he is now. Every day, we are seeing the best Seth Rollins yet. I really can't argue against that, Corey. Seth isn't one to rest on his victories or back down from a challenge. He thinks he's the best thing WWE has ever seen, and he's always ready to climb into the ring and prove it. Makes him pay with a count. Awesome. And he's just in reach of the ropes and gets it to force the break. The ropes become a competitor's best friend in desperate moments like that one. Have you ever seen a human being tossed like that? I'll just leave it at this. Nobody comes into a match hoping to get chucked around like that. He heads outside. Countout's legal in this match. Corey, what's it going to take for Rollins to secure the victory here? I bet you have the scoop. Does he have some ingenious strategy already in mind? No, I'm sure he does, Cole. So all he has to do is execute that strategy. That demands full focus. No distractions, even when they're singing his song. Seth has to stick to the plan.
He heads outside. Countouts legal in this match. Taking this outside. This could be good. He finds a counter for Rhodes. Oh, that's that's a line. It cinched it. We're going to free the arm and does just that. was coming there. Right to the kidneys from behind. A knee of the revolution style by Rollins. And shoulders are down. And he breaks the count quickly. Not even a near fall there. Schoolboy, no, nope. rolls through. Repositioning their opponent. Looks like a neck breaker. Oh, forearm to the back. Oh, I think we know what Rollins is thinking. Here comes the start. Okay, instead. And he's out of there in a nick of time. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Torturous focus on the leg. Ooh, pain must be shooting through that leg now. Single leg takedown of their opponent, and there it is. It's trying to find a way out. The pressure is reversed. This is agonizing. Continuing to attack the neck across the top rope. Single underhook. Face first. Driven down. Off into the pin. Kicks out at just one. That's still a quick kick out at this point. Oh my God. Moved out of the way. Nobody home. Oh. Off the rope. Hoisted up, double underhook. Weaves out, and a close line counter. Repositioning their opponent. Looks like a neck breaker. Boom, bang! A ah, heel hook. Look at this. Oh, that's so painful. It's hard to watch, too. Oh, there's the old stump puller leg snap. Very effective. Just breaking down the opponent. And Cody Rhodes reverses. Cody looking to end this. And this could do it. Crossroads. Cody Rhodes nailed it. Two count and a kick out. What a kick out. I can't believe what we're seeing from Seth Rollins tonight. Rhodes hopes for victory dash for the time being, but you know he won't settle for long. Punch connects. Neither Rollins nor Rhodes is backing down. They are giving everything they have to this fight. A battle to decide who the superior wrestler is and who deserves to be on top. He foiled that attempt. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Oh, God, that hurt. And a direct assault has Cody breathing heavy in the late going. That attack certainly going to threaten Cody's chances in this one. Oh, man, that was nasty. They weren't that good looking anyway. Six. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. Heads out of the ring. What's next? In full control. Down with a gourd buster. Hope you boys put your running shoes on. It might be time to clear out. Two. Three. Just like that, Rollins dodges. Cody Rhodes 
Double underhook applied. Tiger driver, 98! Saw that coming. This might be trouble for him. Six. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Really testing fate right now. He's taking this to the floor now. Rolling into a monkey flip. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. From behind. On a German suplex. Cody hooking him up. There's the final cut. Able to give him the slip. Kick to the stomach puts an end to that. Underhanded face rake throws off the attack. Springboard up. Kick to the stomach. Big forearm. Getting him into the corner. Strong overhead chops. Lighting up the chest of their opponent. Oh, right to the throat. Great move. Up high. Cross body. That's got to be it. Two. He kicks out at two. Almost inhuman at this point. Play stop to the arm. Rollins on the move. Stop. And that may end the American nightmare. Cover. Oh, he was almost finished. The resilience on display from Cody Rhodes is a common occurrence that never gets old. What a battle Rollins has waged so far, but he's not finished yet. Cody looking for the win. Cross Rhodes! Cody Rhodes just might have finished things. Rollins. Tonight, Cody absolutely was the better man. Doing the dream proud, Cody. One of the UK's best exports. The following contest 
is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bates. Tyler may be all smiles backstage, but he brings the fight when it counts. That yeah, man has been proud to represent an entire generation on a continent. He's proud of his past in the United Kingdom and Europe, but now he looks to conquer the world. Few competitors can match Bates' in-ring fundamentals. Indeed, a guy who knows his game inside and out. Tyler Bate can keep it high class in textbook or get down and dirty. Well, this man is six foot three, 275 pounds of pure power. Perhaps the strongest man in WWE. And his opponent from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the almighty Bobby Lashley. Guys, Bobby Lashley has the physique that's carved out of marble. Yeah, Michael, when you look at Bobby Lashley, you see an absolute freak of nature. And it is almost impossible to stop this runaway train. The Almighty does not fear the brutality of combat. Amateur mat, octagon, squared circle, hell in a cell, elimination chamber. Bobby Lashley will fight anywhere. And the bell rings on this match featuring one of the most imposing superstars of all time, the almighty Bobby Lashley. Rarely has a nickname been more appropriate. Bobby Lashley has the kind of poise, the kind of power that makes opponents stop in their tracks and severely rethink their life choices. Lashley looking to put that power into effect here this evening. And he's face to face with one of the top superstars to come out of the UK, Tyler B. Bate appreciates and respects the historic British superstars who came before him, but he's doing things his way. That's what a true student of the mat does. They build upon the foundation that was laid before them. German suplex! <laughs> Breathtaking head scissor takedown. Big time power slam! Tyler didn't look too comfortable there. Yeah, this persists. It could be mission accomplished for Lashley. In my opinion, all Bobby Lashley has to do to get this match won is keep the attacks coming. He just has to use those powerful blows of his to grind down the opposition until they have nothing left. That does sound like a good use for all of Lashley's otherworldly strengths in this match. Uh, Tyler Bates with the standing shooting stop. Can he score the pin? Strike connects. Big forearm. Tyler Bate finds his target with that one. Boom, right across the small of the back. Ah, look at this. Effectively targeting the arm. A showcase of skill from Bate. Lashley has to trust his instincts at this point. Arm ringer, punch to the face. Lashley's pushing back now. Could be the chance for Lashley to change the complexion of this match. Into a power slam. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Yeah. Neckbreaker. Could be some collateral damage on the way here. Everyone 
needs to clear out, including us. Jarring European uppercut. Arm ringer applied. Arm ringer finger snap. Painful work done there on the joints and tendons. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. The ref's count ain't stopping. The clock is ticking here. This one is headed outside, guys. He went right into that turnbuckle. No. This is just establishing dominance, followed by a stomp. Ooh, well measured. Boom, right across the small of the back. Lashley is now under pressure. Bade is absolutely unloading here. Things are looking dire for Lashley. At this point, it might be too much for him to recover from, Cole. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Oh, that'll rattle you. Kick right to the back of the leg. Straight to the knee. Being hobbled like that, something to keep it. Nice drop kick. Make it twice. They are rolling here. Ducking out of the way and delivering the cross body. We got a cover. No, stops the count at two. This is going to come down to who wants it more. Up to the top rope now. Look out. able to find more power in that endless tank of his to get the shoulder up. Throwing everything in the kitchen sink in there, but to no avail. Oh, we are here being overcut. Amazing what this youngster Tyler Bate can do. But Lashley always has the power to fight back in this. Outside count outs legal in this match. Two, three, and he throws the opposition back into the ring. Lashley a spear. This spells trouble for Bates for the win. Two. And he got the win. That is a huge win here tonight. Here is your winner. The almighty Bobby Lashley. A tough loss handed to Tyler Bate. Bobby Lashley continues to raise his game. You have now experienced the power of the almighty Bobby Lashley.